Hey guys, welcome to Let's Get Baking. So pretty much today I'm going to be baking cookies, normal cookies, but I'm pretty sure it'll be um, oatmeal chocolate chip. So I'm Hannah and welcome to Let's Get Baking. So let's get baking. So I'm just looking at a recipe, looking at some recipes, because I'm gluten free actually, but you can use normal flour, I just have gluten free flour. Um, so I'm just looking at some recipes here. I don't know what else I'm to do. Which recipes do you use? Okay, so I think I have a recipe. I'm gonna just go talk to mom and see if this is a recipe. So if you want to get baking, of course. to just chill um, with some plastic crack over top of them and then so now we are going to put them on the pan so I took them out because they're a bit like almost like frozen <laughs> even though they're in the fridge so I set them out a few like an hour ago but on thaw so they're all on thaw and we're gonna put them on the pan now it's like they're pretty tough <laughs> it's like, I don't need to let them no I think they're fine you might just get them all warmed up and will be fine so now we're gonna put them on the pan and then they're gonna cut Oh, and I forgot to mention, heat your oven to 375. Our oven is um, 100 degrees hotter than usual, so I'm doing 275. Um, but you guys can do 375 if your oven is <laughs> Okay, let's get on to So, it. if you're wondering what pan I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this like stone pan. It's what I use for most of my cookies and like pizzas and stuff like that. Here are the cookies. And they're gonna turn onto that pan. So, I'm just gonna time lapse this while I'm doing it. Okay, so just to show you how big they're actually going to be, so I am going to actually use this with my hands. I just washed my hands, so I'm going to be clean. Well, they are clean. So I would probably do them about that big. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to flatten them or not. I might just leave them round, but I might flatten them. And so that's how big they're going to be. Can you see that over it? Okay, yeah, so let's get on. Okay, so 
so um now um i can show you the cookies i have them on the pan they're not in the oven yet because i want to get the things in the oven warm up a bit more okay so here are the cookies so i wanted to as you can see i removed one over here because i wanted to spread them out a bit more they're still like, not spread out <laughs> I'm hoping these turn out good because, of course, it's gluten-free flour, and I have made um, gluten-free flour cookies before, and literally, they, they, they like, overflowed the pan. It was crazy. <laughs> I have this much dough left, so I'm going to have to do two pans. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'm going to put them in the oven. I forgot to mention, sorry about this, um, they are supposed to go in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm checking them at seven minutes to see how they're going, and yeah. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes. Mmm, they smell so good. I think they're done. I think they're done. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it, and hit that great big old notification bell. Um, so if you want to see me trying the cookies, please subscribe. That would really encourage me to do more videos. And I am going to post a video, like probably later today, of me trying the cookies. Okay, bye!